Hello my dear students today in this video we will be taking a chapter from your english literature book lesson 3 what robin told before we begin with the recitation of the poem let us know something about robins robins are called robin red breast they are the best known birds of england the robin has a reddish breast and face a grey underbody and brown head wings and tail it is a small plump bird the robins almost sing a very sweet song throughout the year and are found in england america commonly so let us start the recitation of the poem and understand the explanation of the poem the poet of the poem what robin told is george cooper lesson 3 what robin told how do robins build their nests robin redbreast told me first a wisp of yellow hay in a pretty round they lay then some shreds of downy floss feathers too and bit of moss woven with sweet sweet song this way that way and a cross that's what robin told me through these lines the poet george cooper tells us that robin is a small bird who is commonly found in england and the po poet tells us and tries to explain us that how these little birds make their nest the first step to build a nest is that they take a small thin bunch of dry grass and start putting the grass in a circular way in a form of circle they try building up their nest they also make use of soft fibers from the plants the dry thin sticks which fall down during from the trees when a strong wind comes they take the feathers also and a little bit mud so as to put some weight on the nest as and when they are making their nest they are enjoying this process so they sing a song along with as they lay the materials needed for building a nest this way that way and across they are enjoying the whole process of making the nest let us read the next stanza of the poem where do robins hide their nest robin redbreast told me up among the leaves so deep where 
the sunbeams rarely creep long before the winds are cold long before the leaves are gold bright eyed stars will peep and see baby robins 1 2 3 that's what robin told me through this stanza the poet tries to explain us that why does a robin build its nest the first stanza explained that how does a robin build its nest and the second stanza explains the reason for making the nest so in these lines the poet very nicely tells us that robin rest breast builds its nest on a tree where there are lot of branches and leaves even the sun beams cannot enter the leaves are so dense that the thin light of sun finds it very hard to reach and why does robin redbreast take such a bushy tree so that it can hide its nest from the enemies the aim of robin redbreast is that she may build her nest before the winter arrives before the wind cold wind starts blowing and before the autumn season arrives so that when the robin breast lays its egg they get a proper place to grow up and look for themselves and get ready for their future life so very nicely george cooper tries to explain to us the reason and the process of making the nest the robins try to make the nest from grass moss and dead leaves she also uses feathers to give some decoration to the nest and during the winter season the robins puff up its feather to protect itself from the cold winds and do you know that robins are were used as postmen in england and now also the postmen of england are called the robins as they wear red tunics so hope the poem is clear to you all and you have understood the explanation also thank you and have a nice day